It's, uh, it's changed our whole thought process and um, just our whole emergency preparedness is different. And it's COVID, we hope uh, there won't be another pandemic, but it uh, could be something else. And you know, the vaccine certainly is just, uh, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. We're really looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, as you said, we're so close to getting out of this pandemic. Just we need to bear with it just a bit longer with the, I don't like wearing a mask, but we have to do it a little longer. Sure. The social distancing, um, we're getting there, but uh, don't let our guard down now. We're almost home. Can you just kind of candidly frame two things for me? One is like, what were some of your frustrations about going through COVID and the pandemic that made your life as a medical provider more difficult as a hospital system, more difficult, either attitudes in the public, and I'm not leaning you in mm -hmm. one way or another. And then maybe one takeaway that really gave you a lot of hope about uh, just where we're at, as you mentioned, we're seeing some light at the end of the mm -hmm. tunnel, but like, what was your greatest frustration Mm, that purview and then maybe sure. what counterbalanced that for you? Certainly, I think uh, masks and other personal protective equipment, uh, gloves, gowns, goggles, just to protect our staff. Mm -hmm. And they were on the front lines every day. They didn't know if patients were coming in, had COVID or did not have COVID, whether they had symptoms or not. Um, and But they they gutted it out every single day. But to some, it took a while for us to get enough PPE to tell them, yes, you're safe to be working here with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that was frustrating to see them going out uh, for a few days or weeks until we got enough uh, protective equipment in. Um, it was just, it hurt to, to know I couldn't do more for them. Yeah, and all that they were doing for our community. Yeah, there was a vacuum where you you know uh, help might be on the way, equipment might be on the way, the supplies you might, mm -hmm. but you had that moment where you still had to do your job and step up. Exactly, and some most people did step up, and other people were quite uh, uh, taken aback by it. But I can't blame them. They've got lives, they've got families, they've got kids. Sure. Um, but uh, to not be able to provide them everything that, that I think they would need it to be as uh, careful as possible and safe as possible, that uh, you'd walk home at night thinking, you know, I just didn't do enough today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what really uh, was kind of a unique inspiration uh, through this time that gives you hope? How, you know, how have you improved abstractly as an organization because you're tempered through a particular year-long crisis. Uh, any takeaways from this time? I think certainly it's uh, helped us work together more. Um, we know that uh, although we're in different areas, be it finance or purchasing or yeah. nursing or physicians, we're all certainly in this a little more together. Yeah. And we all need to make sure we're on the same page, make sure we're uh, communicating well. I think our communication mm -hmm. has definitely improved. Yeah. Um, sometimes we'd maybe wait till something got more critical, but now we're a little more upfront and addressing things a little sooner, yeah. which is a positive. Um, and just uh, making sure that we're all uh, doing everything we can to take care of each other. Uh, yeah. because most departments would take care of themselves, but now, well, maybe I don't need these masks. I can get them to the emergency room or the sure. intensive care unit or yeah. the nursing students need something. Um, so to be able to, uh, to see the um, expansion of our thoughts mm -hmm. about helping take care of others has really been a, a, real, uh, a real blessing to see. Full Exposure Podcast is brought to you by Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, in appreciation of the creative and artistic visionaries who enrich our lives through cultural connections.